May God's grace and his peace be with you, dear brothers and sisters. Today we celebrate the solemnity of Most Holy Trinity. One God in three persons. It's a dogma of our faith. In today's gas in today's first reading, through the words of Moses, we hear that God was omnipresent and powerful. And he had delivered the people of Israel from all kinds of slavery. And it was the experience and God experience of the Israelites articulated that God was with them like a barrier, fighting for them, destroying all kinds of evil that stood on their way. And God delivered them from the slavery of Egypt. He stood with them as a barrier. So this experience, they go on think and thank the thank God for having delivered them from the slavery generations after generation. In the plan of God and the eternal plan of God, he had in his mind to send this only son to the world. And we received Christ Jesus into this world. It was to take the human race according to the plan of God to heaven and to open the gates of heaven to all the human race living in this world. And Jesus established a kingdom where Christ was sitting as a king through the preaching, death and resurrection it was established and he had commanded his disciples to spread this kingdom of God in this earth where Christ is sitting to the ends of the earth. And the disciples preached the gospel by their sweat and blood, by so much of sacrifice and God promised to them that he would be with them till the end of the world and he was present with them till the ends of the earth. And today we have this kingdom of God spread across the world where God is present. Christ Jesus is present. As he promised, he sent his Holy Spirit to strengthen to guide and to accompany them in their life situation. St. Paul in his letter to Romans in the second reading today explains to this to us for those who are guided by the Spirit are sons of God. So we become sons and daughters of God by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit enables us to pray and help us to call God Abba Father. So we have a, a filial friendship, relationship with God, with the Trinitarian God. So we have a filial relationship with God. So we can call God Abba Father, God Son, 
and the Holy Spirit continue to present with us till the end of the world. And they are present to us and especially all those things that happen the Trinitarian God knows it. Let us dedicate ourselves today all the sufferings and tribulations with which we move on in this world. Let us in a special way dedicate ourselves. May God intervene into this situation of suffering and deliver us from all kinds of evil. The Spirit may guide us towards the Father's house. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for all the gifts you are showered upon. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Thank you, Lord, for making us to reflect on the Trinitarian mystery, Lord. And you are with us. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, you are present with us. The whole world is at your hand. And we are suffering, Lord, we cry to you during this pandemic. Many of our sisters and brothers are suffering. Be with us, Lord. Said your Holy Spirit to throw away all kinds of evil spread across the face of the earth, Lord. Be with us. Strengthen us so that we may see your presence in our sufferings and tribulations. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.